Hey guys, I just figured I'd make a quick uh, tutorial. A lot of people have been asking how to uh, how to install PW scripts. Oh my God, scripts, scripts, server side scripts, extra scripts. So first off, we're going to be using Illuminati's. Who's been <clears throat> graceful enough to? work on and release a kind of an OSP of pretty good working scripts. I mean, they, they have their own attitude. I've, I've worked with three or four different sets of scripts and they all have their own little twer you know, little twer twerks. Little, little things that they, they do and they got little bugs here and there, you know, but his work they work pretty good, but they're a little stubborn to install, so um, I'm going to help out. So yes, Illuminati. This is a tutorial for Illuminati scripts. Thank you, Illuminati. So first off, you'll download them. As you can see, here's the download link. Um, here is an update for his PHP files. Uh, when you download them. I, I I was working on my own, but uh, I was a derp. I installed Linux on my computer and decided it'd be a good idea to format my hard drive with any regard to anything that I had that I was working on. So, so you'll get this, or you'll get a file, you'll unzip it, and you'll get these two folders. You'll get the name server back end that's going to be the web files he kind of <clears throat> coded it into the Vorn's name server uh, and you'll get this database um, depending on how see I had to edit a line in it um, now if I had to edit a line there's a database create database name create db name, uh, you're going to see that there. I deleted it because I was actually updating his tables to a current database. I use a, <clears throat> a web hosting account, so I was not, I'm not root on the machine that I'm using for web. Uh, so it really depends on, there's two different ways, there's a few different ways you'll go about using it. Um, I'll make a list real quick. I'm just going off the top of my head here, trying to keep it under 15 minutes. So you will need a game server. You can use any server. It doesn't have to be a VPS. You don't have to get all fancy. You can just use any old game server. Uh, paper slot if you want. A web server. Most people like to combine the two. So let's say you're getting a VPS. <clears throat> You'll install a web server. You can look up tutorials on how to do that. We're just going to be installing his scripts to, uh, you know, that's that's something. If you don't know how to do that, you know, if you don't know how to set up a web server, if you're just getting a VPS, look up <clears throat> other tutorials on that. I'm not going to cover it. You'll need. Python 2.7 plus, it doesn't matter what version 2.7. This is because, uh, quote me if I'm wrong, um, Warband uses Python to convert the module language into um, computer language. Uh, the actual coding is not in Python. I mean, I've heard that it uses some Python syntax, but I don't know. I'm not a Python developer. Uh, what else? Yeah, that's pretty much it. So first you'll have to create... I'm not going to teach you how to do this stuff. You're going to have to create a database in MySQL or whatever you're using. I'll show you what I have. Uh, So, 
my kind of I use a hosting account. So here is where mine is. So I put up Nemesis, it's a development server. I'm not really going to sit around on it all day to wait for players, but you know, if people decide to join it, I would be, you know, thrilled. But uh, this is what you're going to get from installing this, the database file. Uh, it's going to want to create a database and it's going to give you an error. If you have an error because you're using a web hosting account and it, and it doesn't have permission to just create a database from a SQL file, you're going to have to delete that line right here. It's going to be right here. A data bank and <laughs> Freaking German cookie monster at Illuminati. Data bacon, hey! Okay, so it'll want to create a PW new. I just took that out and uh, imported it. Uh, like I said, if you need to learn how to import a database, well, I'm telling you what you need to go learn how to do. So, a second is the prep work. So, we will need a URL. Path. So if you're hosting locally, natively his download will have a local host. That'll be the format for the, the web files. Um, so if you're not using localhost and you don't just, you know, noob like install Apache on your Linux box and just throw it, you know, if you're like anybody who really knows how to do anything with servers. You're probably going to be, you know, hosting through a domain, um, and or you'll, you know, using. I mean, don't get me wrong. Localhost is a faster for if your game is on the web server. It's a faster communication, but I'm already used up half the time just explaining stuff. So I'm going to have to get cracking. So next, you'll have your game server files. So go ahead and open up PW module system. Now, you'll need to put, if you don't set an environment variable, you'll have to copy, make a copy of your python.exe and put it in the folder with the Python files if you did not create an environment variable when installing uh, Python. So just a heads up there. So we're going to need to open up scripts.py. So module scripts dot in a loop. So here we go. Now there's a few things. First thing you're going to want to do is decide what you're going to be using for a web path, like your area where you're going to host your scripts on the web. So first we're going to check that out. Oh, yep, that's where my scripts are hiding. Yep. Anyway. So I decided to use Nemesis Gate for my pwnemesis.com domain. Um, I'm going to have to change that after this vid. I don't need people screwing around. So um, it'll have it'll look like this. So it'll be in a PW folder. I don't. I didn't really need the subfolder. Um, so just keep in mind, you, you you only need the PW subfolder if you actually have that subfolder in the directory uh, that you're you're working with on the web. So when it comes to web, let's see what did I do? See, my hosting account uses Linux, so it's almost like having a VPS. It's pretty nice. So, this is uh, all my web stuff. So, we will go to, I made it a, a, a folder, so pretty much a subdirectory is, my subdirectory is Nemesis Gate. So, this is what, typically, if you were using just localhost without without the slash pw subfolder 
this is what your folder is going to look like. You're going to want to edit config.php in the actual PW name server folder because that's where it uses your password. I'm not going to open it because that means I got to change a bunch of stuff. Um, but it's pretty self explanatory. You'll have to set up your database name, your password, your account name. You know, if you're just doing root, you know, it's pretty easy. You can figure that out pretty easy. I got five minutes left, so I'm going to hammer through this real quick. So this is how your, your file structure should look for your web system. You're going to need uh, well, I guess I need to expose my password, but you're going to need to go to I guess I'll just let you all know what my name server password is. It's penis. So you'll need to go to line 4422. And you're going to have to create an MD5 password. Now, MD5 is not usually what the name server password encryption is. It's usually... I forget. I forgot off the top of my head, I'm not going to screw around wasting time over figuring that out. But uh, Illuminati changed it to MD5 because, you know, you could. Um, you'll need to put your password here. It's going to say something like donkey something. You know, donkey whatever. I don't know what he was thinking. He's a German. And uh, that's what your uh, password's going to be. And then you'll have to go to... Uh, MD5 generator, MD5 hash generator, type in the password you created, mine was that, mm, just so everybody can log in and have at it, copy this, this is what your password is going to be in the database. So you will go to Orban servers and paste that into password, bam. Now you will be able to so you'll go to whatever subdirectory URL that you did and then slash PW name server and that's the folder it's in. It'll that'll be where you log in and if you changed your password correctly and it's what is in the scripts, it'll you'll be able to log in just fine. Uh Two minutes left to go. Uh, I'm running out of time. So then you'll need to. There's another line you have to change. I'm not going to be able to finish this in one video. Um, we're just going to call it good on this video, and I'm going to have to make another one. So bear with me. We'll be right back. <laughs> 